It's what I did. Call me. I know what to do to get you approved. If you've been denied or need help applying for your Social Security Disability Benefits, call 1-800-803-5090. Finding the best auto insurance rates doesn't have to be a hassle. In just five minutes, Adriana's Insurance will search for the best car insurance rate. Guaranteed. And you will get immediate coverage. It doesn't matter if you have accidents, tickets, points on your driving record, or even a DUI. Call now and save hundreds of dollars on your car insurance. Or visit adrianasinsurance.com. Adriana's Insurance. You know, it's the insurance lady. You asked smart ways to get cash. Get cash from your home's equity. Intel alone could get you ten, twenty, fifty thousand dollars or more at a two point three nine percent APR. Call Intel alone at eight hundred nine one eight ninety two hundred. Intel alone. Borrow smart. NMLS three two nine zero. If you're thinking about upgrading your TV for the big game, we'll tell you what to look for, including the best brands and screen types in TechSmart. Monday at five a.m. Now at noon, another round of Santa Ana winds is blowing into the Southland. Thank you for joining us for the KTLA 5 News at noon. I'm Glenn Walker. And I'm Lauren Lister in for Lou Parker. Powerful winds have already knocked over trees and caused some power outages. Wind advisories are now in place in some areas that uh, might last into the weekend. We have live team coverage with Kai standing by. First, though, Carlos Sosedo is live in Fontana with more on the wind damage out there. Carlos. Good afternoon, you two. That's right, these winds are no joke. The strong Santa Ana winds are back, and they are back with a vengeance. As you mentioned, there is a wind advisory in place for much of Southern California, including here in the Inland Empire. We're live right now in Fontana, where we have seen some strong gusts. Gusts expected to reach up to 55 miles an hour. Now, officials caution people to be prepared. These winds could blow unsecured objects and topple trees down. And we've already seen that in some communities, including Silmar. Take a look at this drone video capturing this large tree leaning toward the roadway on Claywood Avenue and Alderbrook. The strong winds eventually knocking it down, blocking the entire roadway there. This was one of two trees that came down this morning in that area. First responders were on scene, but it does not appear as though anyone was injured. Cleanup crews had to chop down the tree in order to remove it. But some neighbors say the damage could have been avoided as they warned city leaders multiple times. Residents say they heard crackly noises overnight as the fierce winds were whipping through. Luckily, like I said, it didn't fall on a house. That was the most terrifying part. We, we couldn't even sleep because we were like, we knew it was going to fall. It was just a matter of time. And cleanup is underway in parts of the Inland Empire right now. These were the winds in Rialto early this morning at the Cinemark Renaissance Marketplace. With this latest wind event, officials caution homeowners to secure any outdoor patio items to keep them from blowing away and potentially causing any more damage. Back here live, officials also warn drivers to use extra caution, especially if you are operating a large vehicle, as they could topple over with any strong gusts. That's the latest here in Fontana. Carlos Salcedo, KTLA 5 News. Yeah, always a concern for those high-profile vehicles. Yeah. Thanks, Carlos. Yeah, keep your distance if, uh, if you're on the freeway around yeah. here. Yeah, it's very good advice, and especially areas like the Grapevine, if you're headed through the Cajon Pass, those are hot spots for Santa Ana wind conditions, and we are seeing winds gusting up to 52, 55 miles per hour in many of those areas, including our mountain communities, and fortunately, we're only looking at this wind advisory staying up for four more hours, and it extends from Ventura all the way up in towards the Grapevine area there in Kern County, Los Angeles County, Orange County, the inland communities, with the exception of the coastal sections, and of course, the Inland Empire. San Gabriel Valley, you're fortunate you're left out of this wind advisory, not in the in the equation when it comes to northeasterly winds. But once again, most of Southern California has definitely been feeling the effects and the effects are the possibility of down power lines, trees that could be damaged. And as Carlos said in his piece, talking about the fact that you can have outdoor lawn furniture used as projectiles, and that includes a lot of umbrellas. So another reason to wind all those things down and give the 
outdoor furniture arrest store it as we make our way through the night tonight. As we look at the winds, the current situation still sustained winds between about 23 to 25 miles per hour from the Antelope Valley all the way out towards that Ventura County coastline. We're also looking for winds through Fullerton.